Good morning. It's a Wednesday morning and it's a beautiful one. Sun's out. As you can tell, I was trying to be in the shade, but there's not much shade left. So I'm just going to kind of do it in the in the squinty sun. Or maybe I can turn the other way, but then we'll get some sun in the uh, in the shot. All right, let's try this. So it's uh, another beautiful day, another uh, great opportunity to decide how we're going to be living our lives uh, this morning I, uh, I was I saw I was watching a video with a gentleman being interviewed by the name of Joe Dispenza and he said something that kind of caught my attention. He was talking about priming your mind, priming your mind and, 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 and forging a new personality because a new personality is connected to or continues to a new personal reality. I believe that's what he said. It was really interesting because um, it, it basically covers what other people say in different ways, right? It's almost, a, I, I, I'd say it's almost like a universal truth where uh, you're talking about creating something in your mind before it actually manifests in reality, right? Kind of like the believe it until you achieve it, fake it till you make it, um, visualization uh, to actualization. It's, it's really, really interesting. And, and uh, what's cool about it is uh, when people talk about the same process or the same um, uh, manner of, of changing things in different ways, it reaffirms my belief that different people need different voices. You know, it's like not everybody speaks to the same people. Uh, not everybody listens to the same people. A person who is magnetic and and opens the mind uh, of, of person A may seem dull and not very interesting in person B through Z, you know? So different people need different voices. So the, the expression of this idea in so many different ways doesn't dissolve or doesn't discount the validity of the truth of the the subject, right? Which is visualizing what you want to the point where you're visualizing it with such belief that you're living it in the present, not in the future. And I'd said before about how humans really are, if probably the only ones who can do that, uh, that we know of, to a uh, to a certain level or to an extreme level, because we can literally or we literally have people who walk around and visualize and create entire structures before they even build, visualize and create and manifest lives that are completely and totally different than what they're actually living before they actually exist. So. How are we going to be priming our mind today for the success that we desire, for the future that we are designing? And that's exactly what we're doing. And that's exactly what I'm talking about when I say designing your future. You're visualizing what you want your future to be. But the step that we're missing out on is actually believing and living it as if it already exists. That's the one thing that we haven't really, really touched on to any extent or to any uh, large degree because when you hear very very successful people speak that's exactly what they talk about as a matter of fact one person um, I, I heard being or, or speaking rather about success said if I could have done anything differently I would have dreamt bigger so she had what she wanted in her life she had the type of life she wanted to live and she worked towards it believing that it was going to happen that it was a done deal knowing she's gonna she was gonna achieve that and and make it happen but she said i would have dreamt bigger so how are we limiting ourselves when we design our future how are we um are are we intentionally or unintentionally subconsciously making our goals smaller than they should be because for whatever reason we're trapped into the current reality that we live in that limits our ability to do things because of our our, our lot in life our situation our uh, current ability to earn income to 
um, allow us to live where we want to live, drive what we want to drive, wear what we want to wear, put our kids in the schools that we want to, you know, that we currently put them in or, or things like that. So if we're limiting our future by our current circumstance, we're hobbling ourselves. We're literally shackling a huge weight onto ourselves that's slowing us and keeping us from reaching the future and the success that we're after sooner than 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 we are because if you're gonna dream and if dream doesn't dreaming doesn't cost anything and dreaming has no limits why put limits on it you say you want to drive a better car because you're currently driving you know a, a you know fifteen thousand dollar car you say you know what i'd like to drive i want to drive a forty thousand dollar car well why not a hundred thousand dollar car why not a $250,000 car? You're currently living in an apartment. You're renting an apartment, but you'd like, you know, man, you can imagine yourself living in a two-bedroom house, 1,200 square feet. Why not a 2,400, 3,600, 4,800, 9,600 square foot house, however big you want it? If you're going to dream and there's no limitations to what you can dream about, dream as big as possible and work towards it live that dream as if it already exists prime your mind for the future that you're designing and make it happen it's a beautiful day i already feel the warmth coming in but let's make something happen today we'll be talking